Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayuwa Mesali. Now, today I'm so excited. We have all the ladies on set today, and except for Mariam. Yeah, so today we have Temi Tokwe, Chinasa, EC, Sanzi Hello. for the first, first um, batch. Then the second batch, we have the other ladies. <laughs> all right, so ladies. Happy International ah, Women's yeah. Day! Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's such a special day, you yeah, know, it's it a is. day to celebrate women, a day to, you know, just tell the woman that you are special and we recognize what you're doing and we celebrate but you. But we so, yeah. set a day aside for that. It should be every day. Women do it a lot. Really? That's true. That's so true. That's so true. Don't let the men Super hear women. you. They better hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... I was going to say that I do that like every day, not to every other woman, but to the women I adore and admire, like Meghan Markle, Oprah Winfrey, Ooh, Michelle Obama. Like, hey, listen, <laughs> I, I tell them everywhere I can on Instagram, and even to a couple of my friends, I like, I love you guys. You are amazing. I'm Absolutely. totally in support Absolutely. and just crushing on you every day. Awesome. Yeah. So, do we have like women in our lives that we really, really um? Look admire. up to admire, admire. Yeah. absolutely, absolutely, mm. absolutely. Mm. I am. Um, I have a crush on Bumi Awushika. She's an inspiration to women, generally, and um, I also have my mother as my number one crush That's as well. Nice. So I am. Um, these are the few women I really look oh, look up to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I and love... Professor Anna. Okay. Professor Anno, yes. Ngoji, Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala, she remains my idol. Congratulations to her. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yes. Imagine. Yes. We, we just carried her, use her to clean clothes. Yes. South Africa said, don't worry. Come we carry to you. us. Exactly. Yes. I mean. So if Nigeria I, won't um, recognize respect, and yeah. respect what you have, mm -hmm. and then take it anywhere else in the world. Absolutely. absolutely. So yes. congrats, ma'am. We'll All like right, you. so today's a special day, so let's quickly go into the conversations. Here's what we found as today's quote. Now, each time a woman stands up for herself without knowing possibly Without claiming it, she stands up for all women. That's from Maya Angelou. Have you ever had a situation where you had to stand up for a woman? Um, don't we do that every day? Well, like, I have had you, cases where I had to stand up. I'll tell you something that happened. That was way back in secondary school. Uh, no, university in campus. I lived off campus at the time. So there was this anti-cult guy. Uh, who would always harass women like the guys would go out and come back by 12 1 and nobody harasses them but then when you're the lady if you're coming back like 11 or 12 they're about he's he's like where are you where are you coming from your boyfriend is a cultist you did this one you did this. and at some point i had it there was a, a a a meeting like a yard meeting and all that so everyone came around and he was making all those rules that ladies you cannot i said enough i've had it, what is it? <laughs> so i spoke up and then eventually all the ladies said, you know what, yeah, we support her and all that. Good. And at the end of the day, they stopped doing that. So mm. when you come back 3 a.m. or you hang out with your boyfriend, it doesn't <laughs> matter, just walk into the hostel. Hmm. So, I mean, I, I have Great a different... security and pass. I, my, my view is, I wouldn't say, have I had a time where I've had to stand up for women? And in the spirit of each for equal, I stand up for any, anyone, right? So it's about, I don't like unfairness, I hate injustice. So whoever it is, I find that... I just stand up for unfairness. So be it woman, be it child, be it male. Uh, I love that. I just Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, I will that. I will concur yeah. with her. So okay. International Women's Day today we're celebrating that day and we have all of us, as I said earlier, all the smart ladies of ways, <laughs> you know, and we're here to share our experiences, you know, with all of you. And I think we're gonna be starting with um Chinasa today. Yeah. <laughs> so you have the floor. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'll start with something I read in an article, and I'll just read it in a few seconds. So there are two groups of women, and according, according to this article, there's two groups of feminists, and the righteous woman, feminist, and the queen bee. The righteous woman has a basic belief that women should have each other's backs no matter what, and the queen bee subscribes to the notion that women simply can't get along. So my view in my experience is mm -hmm. that i wouldn't necessarily say women don't get along but i found that in the workplace i find that women are probably like my i don't want to say enemies but they're the ones that actually the create, queen bee the queen bee okay. exactly <laughs> so i'll give an example so i'm pregnant with my first child and i have a male boss 
So I'm trying to get time off to come to work late because I had to attend some things. It was a bit of a difficult pregnancy. And so I'm trying to get his um, approval, right? So he first of all goes up, but there are other women that go for antenatal and they come early and whatever. And I'm trying to just get his, get him to understand that, look, you know, pregnancies are peculiar to people. Even one woman can have two different experiences mm -hmm. with her pregnancies. Then this woman, a senior colleague, comes while we're having this conversation. I think he runs it by her. And she says, well, so you know what? I don't even understand what you're saying. When I was pregnant, in fact, the day before I had my baby, I was pounding yam. And I looked at her like this, like, hello, first of all, that's a bad look on your husband. Because why are you pounding <laughs> yam? Before, before you go, you do understand, before you had your baby. And, and I just thought, yam for who? For who? It, do you understand? And besides, women's bodies are different. Exactly. exactly. Like, you shouldn't even yes. come. You, so my, my, this is my male boss thinking, OK, I'm hearing her. And then another mm -hmm. woman, and he thinks, well, so that's another woman saying it. So it's not even me. I don't have a problem. So I just thought, you know what, this is not helpful at all. You're supposed to come and say, oh, you know what, women are different. Support mm -hmm. my case. So I've just found that there are these kind so, of situations. So every time I hear, oh, women supporting women, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, you know, sometimes it just irks me because I see it play out every now and then. Mm -hmm. I, okay, women supporting women. Yeah, I will support you if you're not, if you're not going to grow beyond a certain yeah, level where yeah. I have placed you. Exactly. I actually had someone, you know, do, I mean, it was a do personal experience for me. I had someone like, you know, I, I, I think she wasn't expecting that the growth I was going to experience, you know, was going to happen to me at that level. So mm. at that point, it, it now became more like, you know, it now it's became awesome. like, no, I expect you to grow, but you cannot grow beyond yes, this cap where I have oh. placed you. Mm. So when we when we hear women saying women, and that's why the men will just be laughing. They laugh at because like, um, they say support yourself. Like Do you understand? Yeah. It's, it, it, it's almost like a joke. Absolutely. Now, you, we go on big conferences, we do all of those things. I mean, there's a conference I will not mention. Mm. I think they are a big scam because in know? all of the, no, I don't want to mention it. <laughs> That's okay. Because no, I feel that they, they organize such a huge gathering of women. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the day, the only people that are beneficial to those kinds of whatever it is that they're doing, it's, it's just a cartel. small, it's small it's circle. Like a, a circle. circle. So, so, so I think that at this point, we all need to agree that there has to be a mindset shift. Definitely. So women have to consciously start to um, support all the women. Because the truth is, for us to be able to progress, as a as females right we need other women to women leaders you know at the right tables to be able right. to speak up and confront the challenges that women face Absolutely. a lot of men will not understand yeah. that but if you're a woman and you're able to you know just support the other woman Absolutely. and speak up for her i agree so I there's a quote that um sorry let me just say this one so um we had an event at work on friday mm -hmm. and uh Dupa Lushala was there and she said something that struck she said, you know, if one woman wins, every woman wins. So we all win. So why are we fighting? No, you all, we always hear that. Well, I said this. I said the, the, the quote but that they give for women supporting women. They're very sweet. <laughs> If one woman wins, every other woman, woman wins. Who are meet women? I'm, women. I'm telling you that yes. most times the opportunities that women get is as a result of a man that's, okay, this woman is doing well. Yes. A woman yes. sees you more like you are competing it's with It's a competition. So you know, it's, 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 a, it's a bad envy and that we have, so we have cultured over the years. So are we believing that mm -hmm. there are too few seats at the table for me to feel that when I get that seat, then I don't mm -hmm. want the next woman to come? Well, we I think everyone has to. This is exactly what I think. I think that, yes, I completely agree with you as much as God mm. has blessed me with amazing women beside me who mm. help me. Mm -hmm. There are most times the breakthroughs I get are usually a, men who are like, I think there is something about you. Let me help. Let me you. help That's, you. Out. You know. But then when you talk about um, women, the, the problem is there is enough table, but mm. women we feel threatened such that I That's can't create the table for you I, because exactly. you, you come along to my job. Yeah, you see, yeah. 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 Women, we women we actually work with our emotions. Mm. So when we work with our emotions, we feel, okay, this is a small girl. She's trying to get ahead in life. Okay, mm. let me just help her. Then the moment we see that she's, she's catching coming, up, she's catching up and even probably, you know, like exceeding ahead, a level, yeah. then we now say, oh, she has no, she has to remain problem. at that particular yeah. level. She has to remain small. That's why she, she has can't an go beyond that. Rude. And it still comes back to jealousy, envy. And, and at the end of the day, bottom line is that 
it culminates into um, a lot of hatred. So where is that, that coming person. from? My question is, where does this I, come from? Where, like where is I said, stemming from? emotions. Our emotions are very strong when we're dealing with people. Which is why we so need we to work with our emotions while the men maybe we should channel work the emotions objectively, positively, so, right? So exactly. I, I, I find so, that very passionate, and I want to see people succeed. For me, mm -hmm. because if I see you succeed, then it shows me that I can do it too. So exactly. why can't we just all? Think well, so we'll come it, back it to that. comes back to our cultural, cultural. norms and traditions. Yes. So we believe that. Um, um, in, in Africa, not, only, mm -hmm. not even only in Africa, generally cons there's a um, social or cultural norm that says that a woman is supposed to be like this or have this kind of job or mm -hmm. behave like Ladies this. Ladies are meant to be seen and, and not, not heard. <laughs> so we also have this um, thing in Africa whereby we have the cultural patriarchal um, beliefs yeah. that men are the ultimate. They are the ones that are supposed, yeah. are the the ones that supposed to make decisions <laughs> for everybody. Yeah. Let's take a, 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 a typical scenario, for example. There's a family of five girls and one boy um, who happens not to be able to do anything. He, he, he's jobless. He's, he's being clothed by his sisters. He's being cared for by his sisters. But do you believe that if you go to a, a traditional setting in the mm -hmm. village, they bring in this mm -hmm. Boy He's going to speak is, before you all. Yes. Who is not responsible, who is practically not um, um, aware financially and otherwise, even emotionally, they would rather have that, if, even if the boy, excuse, Just because of excuse gender, my language, yes. excuse my language, even if the boy is an imbecile, they will say, okay, come as in. As long as he's male. So long as he's a man, they tell him, okay, you stand in front, and the girls who are the sisters are relegated to the background. So the woman's... Um, 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 impute, mm. impute is, is not, totally irrelevant. Almost, yeah, is irrelevant. Terrible. Also, we also look at the norms of the cultural beliefs that we say, okay, the girl is supposed to be a brick, is not supposed to be a bricklayer, the girl is not supposed to be a doctor, the girl is not supposed to be a lawyer. Even if she transcends into that um, position, they'll say, okay, you're not supposed to exceed this level, yeah. this job is... Don't I shine, can, don't this comes forward. back to um, Tosin <laughs> Bucknot, Tosin... Um, is it Tosin Bucknow? That was, yeah. we, that was no, without Oshinawa. the architect. No, so that was Tosin Yoshinawa. Yeah. Yeah. Tosin Yoshinawa, the architect that was with yes. us. She says that because she is a lady, mm -hmm. they were pampering her at, on the job. No, and but she had I, to I wrote an article on Business box. Day, and I was saying mm -hmm. that sadly, we mm -hmm. are the ones that have gotten to that point where we allow this men, you know, we try, you know, women. Mm -hmm. So th there's a style that we try to portray. Mm -hmm. We try to portray that we are fragile. And all of that. So that but is. Are we? Listen. No, I, but it, 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 no. So that's what I'm saying. Let us break it down. When it so comes to the job as an architect, as a bricklayer, there are certain jobs that women I are cannot do. for. Yes, yes. but, but women are doing it. Listen, this is why the men are doing it. We are very confused. We are not doing it. There are some women that are doing it. Hear me out. This is what I'm saying. If you know. They are not, if you're going to choose something and you want to be as equal as the man, be excellent at it. If mm -hmm. the man is going to carry 50 bricks and you're going to carry 25, it's not okay to expect that. That's not fair. fair. I wouldn't yes. say that's fair. Yeah. But if mm -hmm. I'm at a workplace and I put in 95, uh, 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 yeah, 95, and the man works 95, and then I you're paying him 600,000, nope, you're paying me 300,000, that, yeah. that, that is not, not acceptable. acceptable. Yes. Okay, but sadly, we, that. we hear that mm. in uh, for equal pay and all of that, we don't really suffer that in Nigeria because there's a standard of, at entry level. Mm -hmm. You were saying something about growth. Yeah, what, it happens yeah, a lot. Place. So here, yeah. you just get paid usually based on your level. Why? Um, whether you're male or female, right? You have matter. the same qualifications. If they put mm. the entry barrier at um, a 2 1 or a 2 2, it doesn't mm. matter. Right, where the problem comes in is when it comes to promotions. Yeah. Because you find that, for instance, in banking, you know, mm -hmm. I know firsthand that mm -hmm. if you're going into um, training school or entry level, you could find say 50 50 percent male to female ratio. Okay. But as you go up the ranks, when you get to manager, exactly. senior manager level, exactly. you start to see three women for every seven, but eight men. That you more and like more, like every so ten men. What's the reason? When the family happens. Yes. For example, a woman gets pregnant. 
in this appraisal cycle, it's an unwritten, unspoken yep, rule. nobody says it. You just find that she won't get promoted. It's you very know what, I have hard. An example. It's very hard for you to find a woman mm -hmm. who gave 100% mm -hmm. output, mm -hmm. get promoted in the same year she had a baby. And I don't know why they do that. So when I got married, mm -hmm. and um, the, so this was in an international organization, mm -hmm. and the, the divisional head, some South, no, don't let me say his culture, where he's from. <laughs> He asked me, okay, so Chinasa, so you're getting married, and I hope there are no plans to have babies soon. And I thought it was a funny question. Yes, I've heard that as but well. But he was actually serious, because it's like, because it will disrupt work. And mm. so for me, at that point, I started to realize that, you know what, <laughs> being married and having a baby, yes. it means it actually does that, impact. I've also had that experience as well. Before, like I was signing my offer letter and turning it in, and he said, um, I hope you know you can't have a baby in the first year. So I said to him, is that in the letter? You need to write it and give it to me in white and black. Mine is changing it's not just because, he's new that because it's an unwritten law. You can exactly. hold it against him. Exactly. This is really crazy. Right. It's so, so how do women now fight these kinds of, um, what's it called, discriminations that we see in the workplace? We don't you know? fight it. You don't fight it, you we move just keep on. Quiet. We just move on. That's what, move so on. now, over the, years, We've over the years, over the years, we've allowed and allowed and allowed, and it, it has, has become, become the norm. The norm. So mm -hmm. if we truly say we are fighting this, um, I keep saying that sometimes this top playing so for service. Yeah. Here is yeah. what I yeah. think. I think that it takes a woman who understands these things to mm -hmm. initiate the conversation. However, mm -hmm. this is where we get it wrong. So the woman eventually gets to the top. Maybe she makes that sacrifice. Maybe perhaps the contract says you can't have a child or you mm -hmm. can't get married. Mm -hmm. And she pays the price and decides to not get married. Right? right? So she mm -hmm. gets up there. Your job when you get up there is to pave the way such that other women Very will have to Absolutely. get married and get there. But then the, the when problem, they get there, it yeah, changes. It, it becomes when you come in for an interview, you're like, is that woman that will say exactly? I didn't get married. So that's what we're saying. That's exactly. Yeah. So you this see, women so don't really. It's so like a women, vicious it takes, circle. It takes a woman who takes away that selfishness from yes. you. Paid mm -hmm. the price, yes. And I'm sorry you had to do it, but I'm grateful you did it as well because the fact other women you, you will climb the on, on the head. shoulders on the, of what I paid the price is what you're going to hear, so you need no, to pay I yours too. Exactly. It's a simple. All right. So Sandy, you were going to talk to us about the angle of the single ladies. We've been talking about women, women, women getting babies and all that. Yes. So um, AK, while we were having a little small chops here and having a chit chat, AK said something. She was like. Sandra, if I'm like you, <laughs> if, if I'm like you, like the whole world will hear it. Like you better not be somebody's secretary and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> we all know why she said it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, it, it got me thinking. I made a statement, and of course, I know like she said it from from a good heart. Um, as as a single woman or woman, there are certain um, issues that uh, that is synonymous with us. One of it being rent. You can't. Um, rent an apartment not not that you can't but it's almost it's, it's difficult it's to rent an apartment because oh, the landlord yeah. is like do you earn enough money it's like every money you make like people you just assume that a man gave it to you or without a man that you can't have uh, you know um pay for pay your rent and then the second one is you have your money you dress well you want to go to the club must but they say no man. you must have a man beside you because so, I don't understand what wow. their reason is. I have a problem with that. Well, you know what? I think I know this, the reason. Well, well, men so, are their own. So, you know, over the years, well. mm -hmm. now hear me well, all these men. Mm -hmm. Men carry <laughs> tiny chinges, small I'll chops. call them. Mm -hmm. Small chops <laughs> to clubs. And if the wife, for instance, gets to find out yeah. that the husband is in the club with another she girl, goes to and she dresses her. up and she tries to <laughs> enter that club, the, I think that that already rule of a woman that cannot enter. I'm telling you, that is it now because they know that if the woman enters there, she's going to catch the man with another. So with she another better be coming day. with another so man. So I, I, didn't look at so I actually I didn't thought you meant that the wife would come and scatter and just so disrupt the pressure. So that is why she's but prevented from she's prevented because she has to come with a man. So she better be coming so with her own come, side yeah, piece. She has to come back. She has to come into that club <laughs> with a guy. Then I go with my brother. Clubs were created for men. You know, to go and to go and go and exhibit all their guilty pleasures. Men and there. women. That's how I feel. Really Men though, and you know? women. I want to so go with in, my friends. In addition, in addition to what I have just said about men, like mm. you say, carrying all the 
small chops with them. Mm. You know, I shouldn't call them small chops as much as That's I don't what the like guys what call they them. do. <laughs> but yeah. the side the chick, them they're chops. women. Yeah, they are, they are women you know. like us as well. Yeah. So here is what happens. I have, when we're talking about women supporting other women, this is mm. a topic that most people frown at, but I'm a huge advocate for single women Leave married men alone. alone. Don't go after another woman's Please. another woman's husband. <laughs> right? Because um yes, you're supporting women in the workplace, but if you take away a woman's job, we are fine. But one of the things a woman holds most to her heart, I'm not married, but I've been made to understand that it is her husband. He's one of Sorry, the most valuable um, things. Okay. I, I think so. Yes. Uh, yes. I've, I've been told let hold on. Let me land, right? Mm -hmm. Your husband is not valuable to you? No, that's not my point. Hey, I, I said that's one of the most, said one of the most, one of the most valuable things to a woman who is married mm -hmm. is the husband. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can but support his family. Her. So like you would yeah. hold your so brother and your sister. So even if you support her in the yeah. workplace and help, right? please, that family angle is very, very important. Stop it. If the men say uh, we are polygamous well, and all you that, see, you see, but you will be hold by the men. So hold on. It sounds like I need you to move on hold it there. All right. This is what we're saying, what she just said. You cannot say that single girls should, should leave married leave men. They're not married men. men. They are single, single girls. Men. No, this is what we're saying. We, we are, we are, we are talking about each other. And that's why they hold on. Hold on. We don't have so much <laughs> time. Um, because, um, hold on. You know, you know, there was something There was something Oprah said. Um, mm. She was asking a woman who her husband cheated. Remember the video that went viral on mm -hmm, Instagram? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The husband cheated. And so Oprah was asking this woman, why do you feel the need to interrogate and call this other woman names? And she said, that the reason is because she already loves this man. Like, she has established so much relationship with him that it's, it's difficult to hate him at an instant and believe that he will hurt her. So it's just easier to <laughs> there are channel two all guilty that pain. People here, and, though. Sorry, let me talk about it. It's easy to channel all that hate and pain to the other woman. Mm. I'm just, sure, just sure to people will disagree with you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and just to, so you know, you started off by saying um, when some women go through something, they should fight it mm -hmm. and then pave the way for the other women coming. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Priye, I just want to get the name correctly. Dr. Priye Iyala Amadi, thank you. We're very grateful to you on behalf of all the women in Nigeria. Because up until 2009, yeah. as a woman in Nigeria, I could not get an international passport without my father or my husband's permission. So this woman tried to get a new passport and they said to her, um, you need to get your husband to sign and approve for us to give you as a citizen of the country the international passport and then she took wow. them to court wow. the director general of the you know immigration service and the service itself and she won so up until 11 years ago we could not get a passport and then you find that even the nigerian as a constitution woman a yeah. as a woman as a period woman. so women were equated with minors mm. so you needed your father <laughs> oh, wow. or your husband to sign for you to get a passport really and the Nigerian constitution, as I was saying, is not even gender balanced. So today, a Nigerian man can marry a foreign woman, a white woman, and she gets an international passport almost mm -hmm. immediately, and she becomes a Nigerian. Voila. Mm -hmm. But I marry a white man, sorry. Last, last, you'll get a residential, that's a separate card, terrible. but you will never be a citizen. So we need to do better. Each for equal, Equality, man or woman, we are all citizens of the country. It, Very true. Sure. Yeah. You know, oh, someone is saying, hello, ways. I have been in a formal employment for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. I have had male and female bosses. Trust me, without bias, my male bosses have been more caring and understanding. Okay. And someone says again, um, as women, <laughs> we need to improve on lip service and start doing more. Let's I ensure agree. we are kind to each other, yep. uh, it, with, to other women, and sincerely want to see growth. No, clear example, no one talks about father-in-laws and son-in-law issues, mm. but you know the case for women. They always talk about mother-in-law, daughter-in-law. So that's where we're yeah. going. Our, our movies, our... our I was saying something in the, in the article I wrote. I said something about adverts. Now, on TV, whenever a, a certain role is being um, projected, a mm -hmm. woman will be there. She mm -hmm. says she's the one the taking kitchen. the child to school, the oh, kitchen, yeah. you know, she's cleaning, she's the one worried about uh, the shirt not being mm -hmm. white, so she needs to buy mm -hmm. a certain bleach, mm -hmm. or the yeah. toilet not being clean, mm -hmm. she has to use a certain bleach. So, so who defines those who roles? So who defines all those roles? Even to mm -hmm. our advertisement, yeah. women yeah. are continuously put in a certain mm -hmm. stereotype. And that's what Megan So Marco when I'm saying was. that all that's these women, yeah. 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 When, all, when I'm saying that all these women are fighting 
supporting each for equal and all of these things. They're saying, oh, women supporting. You are not there yet because there was a woman in that um, in that in that team that created that ad. Absolutely. Why would you not say, can we sit in that? It's only one seasoning company that I have seen a man cook. You know, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the recent yes, one. Oh, the recent one. So refreshing. Oh, how refreshing it yeah, is. So refreshing. So Absolutely. Do you understand? Absolutely. So it makes absolute sense mm -hmm. for us to start changing the narrative because yeah. whether we like it or not, we are shaping the minds of the children yeah. that are growing up exactly. to see that. I, I am so blessed. I don't have girls. I have boys, so they don't know what what a girl role is or what a boy role. They, is. Do, they do everything, everything. They do everything. and that was you how I was do. raised, you know, by my parents. We were raised to do everything. I wash. I still wash my cars today. If there's no time to go to the to, to the car wash, I wash my. I do everything myself. Yeah. So I mean, we can yes. start to do that from from a very young age. I agree you know, with you. What comes back the to the cultural um, do, 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 Does anyone mm. of you watch the show Mixed Dish? No. Yeah, um, just that it's, yeah, I just stumbled it's, on it. It's, it's a beautiful show, and I think it's mm -hmm. it's so uh, uh, it's so important that we watch that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think I'm selling the show. Let me right. stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so no, I first agree. of all, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. So we're gonna go on a break now. Thanks, and then we have the second oh, half of we the other ladies. Fun. We love you. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you after the break.